Welcome back to a new episode of Celeste Tech Tutorials. Last time we covered the basic to beginner tech found in the beginner gym of Strawberry Jam, and today we'll be moving on to some more interesting and important tech. Now even though the main tech in this episode is intermediate level, it is the foundation for a lot of later difficulty tech that we will build off of in the future. So it is super important to know these few techniques in this video. Now before we cover the Strawberry Jam Gym, let's talk about Chapter 9 of the base game. Around the midway point of this chapter, we get introduced to our first new tech for this video in this incredibly high quality presentation. The wave dash is a technique that involves a mid-air down diagonal dash into the ground along with a jump when touching the ground to maintain your speed and momentum for the jump. Most players are familiar with this tech, and if you haven't learned about it yet, there's a high chance you've seen it before in gameplay or speedruns. Now, why is the wave dash important? Well, it leads us into one of two big topics of this video, hyper dashes. Hyper dashes are any form of crouch dash that end with a jump that conserves momentum and speed. This means that a wave dash is a form of hyper, specifically like a mid-air hyper. Hyper dashes can be performed in a lot of ways, but here are the two other ways that you will see at this level. An instant hyper is a down diagonal dash into the ground and then an immediate jump afterwards, which launches you into the air without refunding your dash which is useful for small platforms that need a large coverage to jump across. An extended hyper is the same as an instant hyper, with the difference being a space between your dash and your jump. Specifically, performing the jump at least 10 frames after dashing refunds Madeline's dash, while also giving you the hyper boost. These are the ideal hyper dashes that you will most likely see throughout Celeste. As most cases, you will need to dash after performing the hyper. As always, I'll show you the rest of the gym to give you guys a better idea of how to utilize hypers. Now it's time to talk about the Hyper Dash's cousin, the Super Dash. While similar to hypers, supers just use a different direction of dash. Supers consist of a horizontal dash on the ground and a jump before the dash ends. This will give you a higher jump than a hyper, but not as far. Supers are great for making big leaps to higher places. Like hypers, there are two main ways that you will see supers at this level. An instant hyper will give you the boost of a super without refilling your dash. This is performed by jumping immediately after the horizontal dash, which is good for platforms with smaller width. An extended super will give you the boost of a super while also refunding your dash. Like hypers, this is because performing the jump at least 10 frames after dashing refunds Madeline's dash. This is the main form of super you will be using because most supers and levels also require a dash afterwards. Now there are some important things to explain about hypers and supers but here marks the end of the intermediate section of this video. From here on out, we'll focus on some advanced hyper and super mechanics. Now, since a wave dash is considered a mid-air hyper dash, what is an example of a mid-air super? Well, in the advanced gym, there is actually a technique called mid-air supers, which essentially involve a mid-air dash, but a grounded jump. If you are playing intermediate Celeste, you won't need to use this yet, but it is important to keep in mind. So all the tech we've learned in this video is with the assumption that you are moving forward with the boost that we are attaining. But what if we needed to boost in the opposite direction? 
For example, in this situation, there is no way to set up any sort of forward hyper to make it across the gap. What can we do? Here we are going to introduce reversed hypers and supers. The way to reverse any sort of super or hyper is to jump in the opposite direction of whichever way the dash was performed. For example, we can reverse wave dash across the gap by dashing down diagonal left and then changing direction to the right when we need to jump over to the other side. The same goes for instant and extended supers and hypers as well as mid-air supers and wave dashes. This next bonus tech is highly unimportant and impractical as of this level of difficulty and should be completely disregarded if you are not going to play Grandmaster difficulty. For those curious though, the wave dash and super dash can actually be combined into this technique known as a super wave. This tech is fairly precise and only appears a few times in Strawberry Jam. To do a super wave, perform an extended super dash immediately followed by a reverse wave dash. These are usually performed on pink clouds or crumble blocks. You can do the grounded super waves too if you don't input the jump for the super. That concludes this episode of Celeste Tech Tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments. See you in the next tech tutorial.